Hi students, welcoming you back to the 2021-2022 school year. We are now in physical mode and we're still using our wonderful uh, tutorial uh, channel that I created for you last year. I want to show you how we're going to be doing it a little bit different this year. We're going to be working on 8 by 12 paper, like printer paper, how I call it. You can always use your paper uh, horizontally or vertically, whatever works best for you. Now, this is the new technique so that we can keep um, an order for our art. Uh, you are going to select the corner a bottom corner whether it's the right or the left whichever one you prefer I'm gonna write it on the left here I'm gonna show you on the left on the left corner of your paper I want you to draw a straight line creating the shape of a rectangle as, as straight as possible this is not too straight but that's okay so you are going to write your first name uh, my first name I'm gonna write it so you're gonna write your first name I'm just gonna put your name so everyone doesn't get confused your name right here squeeze it in there all you need to do is write the last initial for your last name, your, your initial for your last name, I'm sorry, and your first name. And then you're going to draw a little circle. And in this little circle, we're going to write the letter to your homeroom teacher's name. So in this case, I'm going to put uh, the letter G for a teacher that we have in the school that starts with the letter G. And her particular grade level is 3. If you are 4, you're going to write 4. If you are 5, you're going to write grade level 5. So I'm writing G for the teacher's initial and 3 for that grade level. I'm also going to squeeze in here today's date. So I'm going to write 8, 25, 21. Now this will keep your digital image of your picture labeled. And then uh, when I take a picture after you do your drawing during the art session, I am going to take a picture of your final drawing for the day. Now I want you to keep this paper with you. You can bring it back to the next class. If you misplace it, I will always provide you with another paper. If you do have your notebook, you can work in your notebook, but you will also have to do this type of labeling on the corner page of your, of your, of your composition notebook paper always write your name on the corner so that when I take the picture of your image that's how I'm going to be recording for your grade daily I'm going to take a picture of what you've done if it's a drawing that's not finished I'm taking what you've done for that one art session remember art classes we usually start a drawing and it'll take two to three days depending on the lesson that we're working on today we're going to be working on the artist Marisol we are exploring Hispanic Heritage Month in September, so we're cranking it up a little bit a month before. And I'm going to be showing you a couple of pictures of Marisol Escobar, Venezuelan Hispanic artist. I'm going to show you some of her artworks, and we are going to be exploring uh, a similar artwork to what she has done. She was a sculpture artist, mainly known for her wooden sculptures. And uh, the theme here in the drawing that we're going to do today is the family. You can draw yourself and your relatives, but we're going to try and do it a la Marisol style. When you see the artwork in a few minutes online that I'm going to play the um, presentation, you are going to get to see how she looks like the, the bodies look squared so anyhow going back to this label your paper whichever one you're using whether it's the white sheet of paper I'm giving you or your notebook paper whatever notebook paper you are using whatever page you're gonna label it on a corner draw your rectangle write your first name the initial of your last name draw a circle after the initial of your last name again you don't need to write your entire last name all I need is your first name and the initial of your last name because we're limited on that little spot 
Then you're going to draw a little circle where you're going to write your teacher's first name initial. The last name, I'm sorry, the last name for your teacher. For example, if you're in Miss Raymat's class um, or Miss Fernandez's class, you're going to select the last name's letter. Fernandez would be F. In this case, I'm trying to do G for Gonzalez and the letter would be G with the grade level three because that particular class would be in third grade. If you are in fourth, you would add four or five in the circle. Also, I want you to squeeze in the date, 825 slash 21. If we're not in 825 slash 21, you're going to write the month slash the, the date of the week slash the year, which is 21. And then we're going to get started on the drawing. I'm going to do a little bit of... Um, the drawing a la Marisol so we can get started. Now Marisol um, made figures out of wood and mainly all of the body images have a square look to it. It's almost like if you have to draw a square first and then you draw the hair, the face inside your square. I am mimicking one of her famous artworks. It's a compilation of a family. It's a group together. It's This is Mama with um, a baby. And you're going to see the resemblance to what I'm doing in the picture that I'm showing you. So I'm drawing as best as I can to make it look square. It's almost like drawing first a square, okay? We're drawing like a square or a rectangle shape, and then inside you are going to draw the details, the hand, the body part. Uh, if she's wearing uh, a dress in this case, I'm trying to do the shoe here as best as possible. I'm trying to do the shoe. What well, looks like a little shoe here with a heel. A little bit pointy. All right, so in this particular picture, we've got a mama with a baby, and she's carrying the baby, so the baby's head is going to be on the inside part of this big body rectangle we created for her body, for her entire body. There we go, we draw the hands, and then we're going to draw the baby as best we can using like shapes. First using like a rectangular box shape and then just adding the baby's legs. I'm doing a quick sketch, guys. Um, remember, I'm not really interested in the perfection. I'm interested in your process and how you, you know, have fun doing this. Think about your family members as you're doing this. If you have a baby in the family that you um, are close to, it could be your brother, your sister. If you want to draw a baby, that's fine. Okay, so it's kind of like this. Let's see. And uh, we try to do the hair inside the box. You try to do the details for the face inside the box. We're trying to mimic artist Marisol Escobar's um, family. It's a family uh uh, sculpture that she has. You'll see it in a moment. I'll show you the picture. So then we have another person standing next to Mama and we're going to draw the rectangle. It is, it, it is a boy so he's slightly smaller and then you're going to draw the face and the details inside. It's almost like drawing inside a door. Like if you were doing a drawing on a door. Okay. It's like if you were doing the drawing inside a panel of wood instead of a paper. So we're mimicking drawing on wood, just like she did her sculptures. And here I have a little ant. I don't know if you could see it. She decided to go into our drawing, so never a dull moment in an art tutorial. Here's the little ant. That's too funny. All right. So here we go. So now we draw the boy's face. Remember, uh, the noses are simple shapes that look like an L. 
the lips. We've gone through this before. All of you are great at drawing faces already. We've been doing faces for years now. So again, don't worry about how good or bad it looks. Worry about enjoying it. So I'm going to do just one more. And it's a small girl next to mom. And she's going to take a smaller rectangle. Usually the feet come outside. Marisol used to do the sculptures and then add pieces for the feet. So the sculpture stops pretty much where the rectangle is. And then the little legs come out. Here's the little girl with her dress. So we're going to draw the dress in here. Uh, we're going to draw her arms. She has like her arms back or she's holding something in the back. And then here we go. We're going to draw her her head in here. This is a small young lady. She's part of the family. This could be a sister, a cousin. And then she also has hair like mom. And we're going to draw the hair inside. Right. Inside the box. Okay. So we're going to finish here the arm as best as we can. This is like her little belt. Just, you know, you can add different things. And then one of the Marisol um, themes in most of her artworks, you could see like a door in the background. Because Marisol actually took doors that people would throw away. And she would use them as part of her sculpture. So we're going to draw a door directly behind them using the shape of a large rectangle, straight lines. We're going to divide it down the center. And then we're going to draw that frame that a door would normally have. I did it a little bit crooked, so that's okay. I mean, not perfection. We're not worried about that. And then Marisol would draw uh, these curved patterns and shapes to make this look ornamental and pretty. And then she would color it in. This is very typical of the Marisol um, artworks. Now you can create your own design. I'm doing a wavy thing here. I'm trying to do it as curved and as pretty and ornamental as possible. And there we go. So this would be your Marisol painting. Uh, you do not need to write Marisol. I am going to write it because that is the artist that we are exploring. Marisol. Okay. Venezuelan artist. Okay. So I am going to just label it out here because I did do a replica of Marisol, but I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and label it with my name. <laughs> how I always do and uh, write the date and here we go now you can color in I love to do the color red red is something I really love in the Marisol drawings so I'm gonna go in and color this design in red you can choose any color you like remember we are using flexibility this year again we're gonna use a lot of markers and uh, colored pencils. We're going to be working a lot in 2D. Since I am uh, also traveling, we're going and taking it a little bit light, traveling from room to room. So I do want you to know that you can do a little bit of painting during art time if you wish to. And I suggest that you purchase um, the watercolor pencils. They do sell them at the many different stores. I happen to love Dollar Tree. You can get it for a dollar and you can also get four, four um, brushes for a dollar in a pack and you would have to use your own watercolor pencils with your own brushes. So if you do want to paint, uh, I am considering the flexibility of the watercolor pencil this year. And I could facilitate a little bit of water for you during art time when, when we are doing art so that you can uh, explore the brush and using different uh, media. So think about that and start considering when you go to Walmart or Dollar Tree, look for the watercolor pencils. They don't say colored pencils, they say watercolor pencils. Everything else you've brought is fine, markers, crayons, Everything else you've brought is fine. Now, as far as painting, I am sticking to the watercolor pencils. If you want to paint during art time, 
We are going to be exploring it with your brush. You need to bring your set of little brushes and your set of watercolor pencils. We are, again are not sharing. We're trying to keep this as simple and as healthy contactless as possible. Remember that I will take a picture of the finished drawing that you have during each class time. You can continue the following day with it when we meet again next week. And if you wish or you need to start again, that is not a problem. Remember that I am recording what your efforts are weekly. And that's what we're interested in, you catching the concept and the idea of the color. We're exploring color in this lesson. We're using lots of color and we're using also the idea of mixed media and uh, geometric shapes. And we're also exploring Hispanic heritage. All right, we're looking at the artists for the month of uh, September, the Hispanic Heritage Month. All right, so here we go. I hope you enjoyed this, and now you can add your details to your Marisol drawing. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, guys, uh, showing you the notebook that I prefer that you have for class, which it's um, one of the composition notebooks. The ones that have the line paper on the inside, you're free to do your drawing inside or use my white paper. Every time we have art, you can do your drawing in here like we've done before. Again, I do want you to focus on labeling always the corner. You select the corner of your notebook paper or your white paper that I give you. I will always have white paper for you if you need it. You can also work on white paper and then later glue it onto your notebook. That's a possibility. But I do require everyone to have one of these and you are free to collage it and decorate it however you like, adding words. I added in this particular one uh, pictures of different art activities and the word art. Um, and then I taped it. I put a tape over it to laminate it. Remember, it is the composition notebook, the one that has the black bind. It doesn't matter what color, as long as it is a composition notebook. That is the one I require for art, along with your markers, your coloring pencils. <clears throat> and if you want to paint, again, watercolor pencils. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. This is not an ad for Dollar Tree, but it is one of my favorite stores, and I do know we're on a budget. I am on a budget. I know everyone is. So for one dollar, those watercolor pencils are amazing. They come in a box just like the regular uh, pencils, but they say watercolor. And uh, also anything else you get there, like the brushes, you get four for a dollar in a little pack, and they would be yours. So we're going to stick to just your own material. You don't you don't share with anyone. And I hope you enjoy Marisol and the beautiful uh, drawing of the day. Today we're exploring Marisol, Venezuelan artist, and we're doing the boxed family. All right, and I hope to see yours very soon. Have a great day.